Hello my friends and welcome back to a new video. In this video we are going to start building this application. It's a movie app and I'm using MVVM and Pagination to build this. Here is the first screen of the application. Here is something like a splash screen. Here I have a button and I'm clicking on it. The home screen will open and you can see the list of movies. Uh, at the beginning we will have 10 movies in the home screen and i used pagination as i said when i'm scrolling down and reaching to the end of the movies 10 more movies will uh, load here and as you can see the coming and uh, buffering is clearly visible and then when I'm clicking on one of the items, we can see this uh, detail screen. Uh, in the background, we have blur image of uh, this movie, the main poster of the movie. Here in the foreground, we have the main poster, the name of it, the rating of it, uh, and the type of the movie, let's say. The duration of it, the release date, short summary, actors and three images of the movie in a list lazy list down below and that's it let's get started at the beginning let's take a look at the structure of the application here we have the screens of the application as i said the banner screen home screen and details screen and the logics the behind the scene of the application contains retrofit setup, view model, navigation, layout design, and pagination. In the first step, uh, in this video, we are going to build the retrofit setup, retrofit instance, API interface, data classes, and we will uh, manage a network call. And we will display a part, a small part of the received data on a text maybe or maybe on async image to be sure that the network call was successful and uh, in the view model part we are going to build uh, the view model class the functions and the variables and the repository class that we need i think uh, we can manage to build uh, this first and second step in this video and in the next videos I'm going to uh, implement the navigation logic and the layout design and the pagination. If you have uh, watched the video that I built for the Instagram uh, UI clone in my channel, you know that uh, the designing such layout takes a lot of time. So uh, I'm going to use that structure step by step with a lot of different uh, composable for this uh, especially uh, detail screen because it has a lot of boxes and uh, I use a lot of uh, different coloring to make it blur uh, on the top highlight on the bottom low light and so on so let's get started with the retrofit setup. Let's go to the Android Studio. Let's start with the uh, dependencies. Here we have list of the dependencies that I have added to the build.grid. It's two lines for the retrofit, two lines for the coil, one line for the view model, and for the navigation, the last line. As I'm using the uh, newest version of the Android Studio, the Iguana version. As you can see here, the type of implementing the libraries has changed, but I kept using the old school one because uh, some of you may using uh, still that old version of the Android Studio. So let's have them like that. And I will add them to the description of this video as well, down below. Okay, uh, here in the main activity, nothing changed and uh, yeah, I have added this image 
the image of the banner screen here but we don't use it in this video so that's it let's start with manifest adding the internet permission the most important thing let me zoom on it if you want to copy it and we don't need it anymore and this one as well uh, okay let's start here with uh, adding some packages uh, the first package new package and i'm going to call it data or domain maybe inside it new uh, cut lane interface for the uh, retrofit api interface Here we will have two functions, one of them for uh, loading the movies and the other one for loading the detail of the movies. But in this video, I'm going to write only one of them. And later in the next videos, we will continue working on it. Uh, get the endpoint that I'm going to use here is... Uh, uh, movies question mark and uh, i think for now i will use page equal to one to see just the first page uh, of uh, uh, movies this api contains uh, one to 25 pages and in each page it has uh, 10 movies so totally 250 movies so you can use 1 to 25 here and uh, let's keep it like that for this and we'll see uh, because we have to send this page number as a query to this interface later but let's go uh, further step by step step so a suspend function and i'm going to call it uh, get movies for now i will not add anything inside it and response will go to the data class that we have to add uh, there uh, let's create these data classes as well i'm going to copy and paste them uh, but if you want i will uh, tell you what is the whole uh, uh, url and you can copy it from the browser here another package and I'm going to call it uh, models. Inside of it, we'll need some data classes. Okay. If you are copying uh, part by part, this uh, source code from uh, my github remember to change the package name just like i'm doing here and then you will be able to use it uh, here let's start from the first data class we have the main data class it's called movies list inside of this movies list we have reference for two other data classes one of them data the other one metadata here we have the data and 
you can see it inside the data we have the country the genre of the movie uh, we have id images imdb rating poster title and the year of uh, producing then in the metadata we have all of the data that we need about the pagination i checked them and i'm going to use hard code because this current page is the page that you are sending to the api and page count is always 25 because it has only 25 pages per page is always 10 as i said in each page we have 10 uh, movies and total count is uh, 250 movies so nothing will change here but the first one and we know which page already we are sending to the uh, api so yeah i'm going to use hard code and then we have two other data classes for the details one of them the main data class for the detail which is detail list and a subclass for the details and you can see here okay in the api interface the response will go to this uh, movies list so movies list and we are done here for now yeah let's create another uh, package here and uh, let's call it utils in the utils we need uh, two um, objects one of them to save the base url inside it and you can have this uh, companion object inside the uh, retrofit instance uh, object as well but i'm going to make it separately here and the name of util is good for this let me copy and paste the base url here and as i said you can uh, use let me just control d comment the first line and i'm going to delete the extra things and from here you can copy this as well and paste it here i will leave it like this for you you can find it in the source code and if you copy this full line and paste it in a browser you will receive the list of the uh, videos and you can build the data classes through this and i told you how to build the data classes and whatever and also you can pause the video and write them by your hand and also copy them from the source code new path lane another object calling it retrofit instance let me zoom inside of this retrofit instance we are going to create a variable calling it api and type of api interface by lazy and that means we are going to uh, give some values later to it it's just like uh, uh, late in its variable something like that retrofit if you had multiple retrofits choose this one retrofit2 dot builder dot base url and it will be util dot base dot add converter factory 
json converter factory dot create and then build and then create and the response will go to the api interface double colon double colon class dot job and we are done here okay so we have whatever we need for the network call we just need to call this and receive the data but let's create another package here and uh, calling it view model inside of it i'm going to create the class view model uh, let's call it movie view model or you can call it main view model let's zoom Here it inherits from view model. Parentheses. Okay. And let's have another class here. Why Java? New cut lane class. And let's call it repository. Okay. Now inside of this repository, I'm going to write a function for uh, managing the network call. And uh, then we will call this function inside of our view model and uh, we will receive the data and then in the layout we will uh, implement like instance of this view model and we will call uh, the repository through this view model and we will receive the data at the end so let's start from this repository in the repository we need two suspend functions as well one of them for getting movie list and the other one for the uh, details so here for now let's have the suspend function only for the movies and later we'll continue with the details Let's have the page here. So it's the page type integer, and we will go into send this page here. Uh, and the response goes to movie list import retrofit 2 uh, it returns retrofit instance and api and get movies and uh, if you want to send the page to the interface as a query you can use this page here and let's do it the page will come here and here we need this uh, page now so let's have here a query uh, 
and inside of this query uh, we are going to use this page the variable we need here and the type of it is integer and now we can delete this and this so automatically we are sending the page through this variable and it will sit inside of this page and it will sit at the end of our uh, end point of the url and we will receive the data based on it so in the repository uh, we have created this and we are down here and in the view model we have to call it now so by the standard we have to pass uh, here in the construction of this uh, uh, view model class the variable uh, for the repository but it will make this uh, app so hard uh, it's good for using dependency injection but i'm not going to use dependency injection in this application so let's have it here a private value repository and it's equal to repository and that's it and uh, We just need to call this uh, repository and call the suspend function that we have created inside it to receive the data. And uh, let's have another variable to, uh, or maybe let's have a data class here down below. A data class, and I'm going to call it. Uh, screen state sorry it's a data class uh, let's have a variable here calling it items or movies uh, the type of it is a list of the data and it's for now empty we need this data class later and we are going to uh, implement some other variables inside it to check if uh, we are loading the data if we achieve the end of the screen and uh, what is the page and so on let's have the page as well here for now and uh we are just going to use the first page in this video to receive a sample video the first 10 uh, movies let's say so it's integer and let's store number one into it and uh, yeah that's good for now uh, so here let's use the init block and inside of the init block let's have the uh, view model scope dot launch and uh, inside of it let's have the repository dot get movie list and sending uh, the page through this data class into it so we have to create another variable uh, for the data class
Okay. Uh, I have created uh, mutable states for the state class because later we will do changes. Uh, later we will check uh, the status of the screen and uh, we will check the uh, let's say index of the uh, lazy vertical grid that you will have in the uh, layout and when we achieve the end of this we will uh, send a new uh, key a new page number to this data class and uh, then this page will be equal to another number so that's why we are uh, using this mutable state so the page number comes from the state dot page and goes to the uh, uh, goes to the repository and from the repository goes to the API interface and we will manage the network call finally let's see what do we have more uh, we need something to store the received data inside it so the data will go to this movies list. Mm. We have to set it on it. So let's have a change here. Running it a value response equals to this. And then down below let's have the state equals to state dot copy it's a copy of itself so we can change now this so movie equals to uh, this response dot body uh, if it's not empty dot data and now the received data will sit inside of this data class and we just need to read it let's go to the main activity here i'm going to delete whatever we have here and delete this and uh, let's implement the uh, Some variables for our view model and uh, our state. So, movie view model equals to view model and state equals to movie view model dot state and that's it here let's have a text and the text of it will be equal to dollar sign state dot movies dot to string and let's remove this okay uh let's check it let's see what do we have here okay as you can see we received the data here is our data and the name of the country USA, gender, crime, drama, uh, and uh, a lot of data about the movies. Okay, so uh, that's 
enough i think for this part in the next part i'm going to implement the navigation designing the main screen and the banner screen and displaying all of this received data uh, in the uh, cards inside the home screen the main screen and so on and uh, also we can i think manage uh, some other stuff about the detail screen probably let's see what happens uh, thank you for your time if you like this video give me a thumbs up write down below in the comment section if you like this design as well and uh, if you are new here in this channel please uh, subscribe to the channel for new videos thank you for your support financially and mentally and have a good day bye bye